desktop. There we go. So I paid for this £37.65. No power, apparently. And this is one that I bought off the same person I bought the last one off. So I bought one, ignore all them sweets, that's just Sarah. So I bought one off this guy with a bulging, actually no, is it not? Is it the same person? It might not be, actually. No, it's not, it's not the same person. All right, never mind. Um, was it the same person I bought a 1X off that I've just recently done? Yeah. Okay, so I bought one off this guy and I was able to fix that one. So I bought this 1X off him for £57.65. I've just recently done a video on that. But I also bought this off him and this apparently is no power. Console security marked to prevent fraud. How dare they? How dare they? Yeah, there you go. So no power, £37.65. Let's get it, let's go. Today's video is sponsored by PCBWay. With fantastic pricing on multi-layer PCBs, flex PCBs, 3D printing, and even laser cutting solutions, you're sure to get everything you need all in one place. Custom PCBs start from just $5 for a one to two layer board with a fast 24 hour build time and free shipping on orders over $30. PCBWay are also proud to announce their new aluminium PCBs, which start at just $120 per square meter. Check out what PCB we have to offer by clicking on the link in the video description or the top pin comment and get your project started today. Thanks again to PCB Way for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to the repair. So if you're watching this as a video, I am live streaming on Twitch. You can check me out, twitch.tv twitch, twitch forward slash decoder 2015. That Danny Wee guy you've been buying off has scammed me twice. There's a thread about him in your Discord. Is it really? Is it really? Because the... £50 Xbox One X that I've just bought off him, I fixed. Read the nosy neighbour thread. Let's have a look. Spanner said that that seller's scamming people. But I've bought one off him. I bought a One X off him. In fact, I did a video literally a few days ago. Uh, this one here. £50 broken Xbox One X. I'm not going to spoil it, but yeah. I did a video a couple of days ago on that. But let's have a look what Spanner said in the nosy neighbour section. Um, but by the way, this is pretty funny. You see these douchebags here? Not this guy. This guy's awesome. This guy is absolutely awesome. Subscribe to this guy. These douchebags here, while I'm streaming, sitting in Discord chat, slagging me off, like in, in the VC section of Discord. How dare they? What a bunch of scumbags. Nosy neighbours. Let's have a look. Yeah, sounds good. Why not? Danny Wee 55 ah 30 days ago well show how much I pay attention um be wary of this seller list of basic known falls like not able to pay on or boot but doesn't say he's part of a repair shop and the items more likely have previous failed repairs okay interesting ooh 18 tour pads and a smashed LCD hmm yeah okay well he's here scammer then is he a scammer or are these guys just absolute shit at the job? That's the question. Is Spanner really, well, one tool short of a set? Read my most roast me some post. Yeah, let's read his roast me some post. What's he say? Let's have a look. A roast me some post. Turns out Danny, Danny Wee 55 runs a second eBay page called Runcorn Direct, which is actually cash generators in Runcorn. They all have the same phone number. I suspect they take stuff. Taking stuff in cash generators, run corn direct to try and fix things, and Danny Wee sells what the break is untested. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Sam said hi to it. Go to bed. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I'll say the latter. I found some more info on him. Okay, cool. Well, we'll see. Is Spanner a tool so short of a set? So if you are watching it back as a video, like I said, this is going to make a video because I've got to get that YouTube border money. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, all of that good stuff. Let's just have a look and see what's going on, shall we? Let's have a look. Are we going to blacklist that Danny guy? Looks like someone's been eating this. Don't eat your consoles, guys. Okay. Now that's a beep on beep off, not 
a null power. So that's a lie straight away because it says on the description in black and white and all of the pixels glories. Oh, it says that it beeps when you press the power button. Okay, I'm wrong. All right. Well, I didn't look at the listing. I just saw it was thirty pound and bought it. So it does attempt to put to. It does attempt to turn on, but it won't actually turn on. More commonly known as fucked. But we'll see. Let's see if we can fix it, shall we? Get off. Right. Any screws missing? No, 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 no. No screws missing. Good. Good stuff. No screws missing. What do we have here? We have what hard drive is this? A one terrible byte hard drive. Question is, does that one terrible byte hard drive work or is it faulty? I don't know. We will find out later on. To be fair, for thirty pound, like I mean, the fan alone. I mean, I don't sell many fans. Like these don't sell very often. But ten pound for the fan and heatsink, ten pound for the power supply, fifteen pound for the disk drive. There's my money back. Ten pound, five pound profit winner winner chicken dinner right you really can't go wrong for 30 pounds spanner is a, sh a set short of a set yeah i agree joe is calling ram i see is there a free fifa game in it should we have a look should we see if there's a game inside i don't think there is but we'll see we'll see oh get out get out of it uh free game Nope. Well, that's a bit poop. Well, that's a little bit poop, isn't it? Right, where did that SATA cable go? Don't know. Stuff it. Don't care. Didn't want it anyway. There it is. I was I was joking. I wanted it. Oh, I was just joking. I wanted it really. X clamp tool, courtesy of consolefix.shop. Yeet. Right, that thermal paste got more crust than my mum's knickers. You don't sell many fans, you sell only fans. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, do you have those PSUs in stock? Because I still need one. Yep, loads of them. All right, let's give this a quick check then, shall we? So let's just plug in the power supply. So beep on, beep off. It could be the power supply. Like the power supply could be faulty. But, but, there is a but. It's a big one. It's Spanner's mum. I mean, um, there is a but. <laughs> the but is that the, the power supply itself um, doesn't generally cause a beep on beep off. If it's faulty, it normally causes complete no power. Like I said, it can be the power supply, so we could try another power supply. Uh, but also, we're not going to have a 12 volt short, because if we had a 12 volt short, the power supply would go into uh, protection mode, and we wouldn't get any beep at all. So... It's definitely not got a 12 volt short, 100%, and we definitely have the 12 volt rail there. One interesting thing is that this doesn't attempt to boot up immediately. Uh, power supply could very well be the cause of this, but it's unlikely. But I will grab a power supply just to double check if I can freaking find one, that is. Why haven't we got any power now? That's a bit odd. That is very weird. Has it suddenly developed a 12 volt short? We have 12 volts going in. Just looking around for some heat spots anywhere. Someone actually said the other day, they was like, oh yeah, you're touching the bottom of the board and it's got 240 volts going in. Like, really? Really, my guy? You really went and said that? Yeah, so we've got 12 volts going in, but we've got no power. Interesting. So we was putting out power before, and now it's not. So let's just scan for some voltage rails. So we've got no 1.1. Uh, sorry, no, there's 1.1. Yeah, we've got no 1.1. We've got no 1.8. I'm not expecting to have 1.1 and 1.8, to be honest, because we've got no beep at all. 3.3 uh, is missing. We don't have 5 volt either. Something strange going on here. I'm no expert, but I'm going to say it's broken. You got it, mate. Got it in one. Diagnosis over. Let's just end the video there. <laughs>
if there's 240 volts in that board, you've got bigger problems. I agree. I got 99 problems and my rails ain't worn. Well, they am because I've got no 5 volt. But there you go. Uh, right. Let's just plug it back in a second. I've got to think, this could be the power supply, maybe. That power supply does not sound healthy at all. Like, I'm not sure if... I don't know if that's coming across. There's a hum coming from it. Like a sizzle, almost. I don't know. The power supply don't sound healthy. Where's my front panel gone? There. Yeah, we've got no power still. Oh, that's really weird. Can't remember which pins I have to short out for this. Let's try it with the bench supply. 0. Point... Okay, we get 1.5 amps current draw. That's not normal at all. Oh, hang on. It's the power supply. Of course it is. Of course it's the power supply. Yeah, well, that doesn't normally cause a beep on beep off, but that weird um, that weird humming got my uh, my brain whirring a little bit. That one point eight amps, it must be set. Uh, one point one amps, it must be set to uh, always on mode. Of course, it's a freaking power supply. Why do they have to be so easy? It's going to be the cap inside the power supply. It always freaking is. I must say, if you don't know what you're doing, then you name the coder. But other than that, if you don't know what you're doing, don't work on power supplies because they're freaking dangerous. Like, I'm not even joking now. Power supplies are dangerous. I'm just going to have a look at this just for the sake of having a look at it. They're cheap enough to replace people. And especially don't try and disassemble them with a metal freaking tool. With a metal pry tool. Because that's just even more stupid. <laughs> Why is it so stuck? Oh, it's one of them ones. I ain't got any of them caps anyway. Yeah, it's one of them stupid ones. These new 2018 ones. It's not even worth me fixing because I haven't got any of those caps. And my caps won't fit in these boards. So, yeah, I might as well just scrap it and replace it. It's 240 volts going to be going through this connector. I mean, yes, it's relatively safe if you know where you're touching. But, yeah, I'm not sure if you're going to hear that sizzle. You'd have to turn your audio up. But there's a sizzle coming from that capacitor there. So those, that 420 volt cap in there is gone. It's dead scary. Um But it's just not worth fixing. Because number one, the caps cost the same as a power supply cost. And number two, I haven't got any of them caps anyway. I've got some 420 volt caps, but just not those ones. So I might as well just get another power supply and, re and um, replace it. Someone said to me the other day as well that I wouldn't get £60 for these. Like, come on, dude. It's a freaking completely working console. And just because you wouldn't pay £60 doesn't mean no one will. Like, £60 easy money. Easy money. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Boom. Boom. Easy peasy, lemony squeezy. Let's test display. Shavarok shell. HDMI port seems in really good condition. Boom. Um, <clears throat> I said boom. Uh, hello. Why are you not working? Hmm. No signal. Ah, oh, that's annoying. All right, let's try it on TV then. Ugly cam. No display. Unless the hard drive failed. Let's find out. Have they thrown a scrap hard drive in here? That's the question. So let's just try my test SSD. I use this just for testing to see if we're going to get a display. Uh, so just because it doesn't shut off after 60 seconds doesn't necessarily mean that it's not the hard drive. Do we get a display now? Yeah. They've probably put a bad hard drive in. But I can't prove that, can I? But that... It's got a bad hard drive. Still not a bad deal. No, I mean, hard drives are pennies. They really don't cost much. So I'm not really going to make a lot of money on this at all. Like, genuinely not going to make a lot of money on it. In fact, it may be best to strip it down for parts. Because I don't think I'm going to... After fees and things, I'm not really going to make anything. Um, 
The problem is I've paid £37, £38 for the console. If I sold this for £60, I've paid £38 for the console, £10 for the hard drive. How much do I sell them power supplies for on my website? Let's have a look. This is how easy it is look to navigate. So we'll go Xbox One S parts. Twenty pounds, yeah. So I'm stripping this down for parts. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother rebuilding this. It's not worth it. It's really not worth it. So twenty pounds for a power supply, ten pounds for a hard drive, that's sixty eight pound. I'd lose money. Like I, I, cause I, I could probably get like what sixty pound max for this. So I'm gonna make sure it works. Like make sure the board works and stuff, and then I'll just sell the board for like forty five quid or whatever, forty quid with the disc drive daughter board. Sell the disc drive, sell the fan, break it down for parts. It's just so much easier. Um, well, so much better in the long run. It's not worth it. It's really not. I see you. Come on. Oh, you son of a bar stool. Right, I'm just going to install those two one onto uh, SSD. That, is, that hard drive I probably took out of another console. Yeah, let's just install O2 one onto a USB for now. Um, doesn't really matter, does it? Did I say USB? I meant SSD. What happens if it's blacklisted from a robbery? I would have to report it to the police. If I could prove it was blacklisted because it was stolen, I would have no choice. Oh, damn it. It's not putting out any error codes, which means it's not really attempting to start the install. It's sticking on one percent so it seems like it's not really recognizing the hard drive that's likely going to be something to do with the safe bridge and if at that point it's not worth it i think that this seller probably has put this as a parts console they probably have thrown a load of parts together and you know on off parts that they can't fix power supply failing hard drive failing plus it won't update but I think I've got to take the L on this one and just strip it down for parts. Yeah, I can't prove that's what the seller's done, but they probably have, let's be honest. But, uh, no. I'm just going to take the L. I'll strip it down for parts. I can make... I mean, if you look on eBay, um, just for SN75DP159, which is the HDMI encoder, that's like £10-11, right? Um... So that's just for the one chip. There's a lot of chips and stuff I can take off there, and you know, like disk drive, uh, not the power supply because that was full tech. Disk drive, fan, heatsink, front panel, um, Wi-Fi boards. I'll make my money back. I've got a feeling it could be the South Bridge because it's not accepting a hard drive at all, and I know these hard drives are good. I've taken this out of a working console. I've taken one of these out of a working console, should I say? Yeah, I'm just going to take the L on it and just strip it down as parts. I don't mind. I do, it's a, bit, it's a bit annoying, but, you know. I can't prove what the seller's done, but there's been reports of it, so it is possible. It is very possible that the seller's just thrown together a load of parts that they couldn't fix. The hard drive being bad, for definite, the hard drive definitely being bad, plus the power supply being bad, plus it won't update. Something doesn't feel right. But anyway, if you're watching it back as a video, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notifications, Make sure you watch another video and make me feel really popular. But yeah, strip it down for parts. It's not worth carrying on with it. Not for not for what I would gain from it. Just really not.